Hey there, quick note before we dive in, what you're watching right now is a lesson from one of my courses that I've decided to release completely for free here on YouTube so you don't have to pay a dime. So instead of asking you to buy my course, if you want to show your appreciation, here's a couple of things that you can do. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. These small actions tell YouTube to share my content with more people, which is a huge help. Also, feel free to check out my recommended equipment links in the description below. If you do purchase equipment from these links, I do get a small commission at no extra cost to you whatsoever. Or if you want to, you can leave me a super thanks or even just hit play on one of my playlists. I know it sounds silly, but if you just hit play on one of my playlists and let it play in the background, even if you're not paying attention, it again, it tells YouTube, hey, people are watching these videos. I'm going to push it out to more people. So even if you just want to do that, I would love it. I would appreciate it so much. And then lastly, if you're looking for more personalized help, I do offer private coaching that you can find in the description of this video. Either way, I really appreciate you whether you choose to do one of these things or not just by simply watching this video it means a lot to me thank you so much now let's get to the lesson all right so there's a few things i want to cover before we get into the different types of microphones so that when we do get there you're not confused the first being self noise self noise is the signal the microphone produces of itself even when no sound source is present in other words every microphone produces its own self noise the more you turn the microphone up the more the inherent self-noise of that microphone can potentially be heard. Here's a quick example of what self-noise sounds like. It's literally just white noise or hiss. Now, it definitely depends on which microphone you use as to how much self-noise you'll get and then how you can limit that self-noise, but we'll be getting to all of this as we break down the microphones in this section. There's a few different factors that can add more noise into your audio. For example, we'll be covering audio interfaces later on in this course, and they also produce a certain amount of self-noise, just like microphones do. So this can potentially add to the problem. Another thing to note is, and not always, but typically, the cheaper you go in buying a microphone once you dip below around $200, the worse the self-noise will be. Some microphones require a lot of gain to get them to usable levels, which means you'll have to turn those microphones up even more to get good levels out of them. And remember what I just said, the more you turn the microphone up, the more the inherent self noise of that microphone can potentially be heard. It's just something to be aware of, but the good news is we're not recording professional voice over here, so a little bit of self noise isn't the end of the world, and there's ways around it and ways to fix it that we'll be getting to later on. So let's just move on. 